ride has only just begun. This could be an epic game. an incredibly busy international break. Good afternoon. Wales and England are off to the Euros. The small matter of a sizable managerial departure to talk about. More on that to come. And look at this. Dion Dublin and Tim Cahill are in the hot seat. Uh, still to come for you on Football Focus. Brighton striker Glenn Murray will be joining us live on Focus. Uh, back to the Premier League then for the last few minutes of the show. Still goalless, by the way, in uh, Spurs' first game under Jose Mourinho. We're going to live to Brighton next, where, look at this, Glenn Murray is waiting to talk to us this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to you, Glenn. We've got Tim and Dion in the studio as well here. Um, I'm interested to know what, what you got up to over the international break. What's it like from someone who's not playing international football? Um, it's a welcome break for these old legs. <laughs> um, no, we just uh, we had a little bit of time off, um, and then... The guys that weren't on international break, uh, obviously it's important to keep your fitness up and things and, and just hung around really and waited for the, for the rest of the squad to return and, and start focusing on today's game. Mosa, it's Dion here, mate. Hey, Dion. Hi, right, pal. Listen, just, just on a personal level, what's it been like for you as a 36-year-old senior that's been in the game a long time, from, from Chris Hewton and Graham Potter, what's, what's it been like for you as an individual? Well, firstly, Dion, thanks for that. Uh, Mentioning yeah. my age. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been it's been very different, um, contrasting styles of play. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm obviously not playing as much as as I would like. But it's about being ready for the team and, and ready for the gaffer. And if if he needs to call upon me, then I'll be ready ready and waiting. There's always goals in the bag for you, mate. Are you, are you hoping to get some more starts towards the end of the season? Is it about you and do well on the training pitch, or is he setting his ways? Um, no, listen. I think it's, it all comes down to the training field, doesn't it? And then, and then, depending on how the game's going. And a few games this season, we've done really well and haven't needed a goal in the last few minutes or whatnot. Um, and like I say, I'm always ready and fit and waiting for my opportunity to arise. And, and hopefully, I'll take it when it does come. Moza, I'm sure there'll be a, a, a queue of clubs, mate. If not, if he doesn't want you there, there's a queue of clubs waiting. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. <laughs> Uh, actually, Graham Potter says some very nice things about you, uh, Glenn. I know there's always a concern when you're doing these sorts of interviews. Are you a bit worried about your teammates walking past you and giving you some grief today on Football Focus? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've just mentioned that to the guys here. We better get this wrapped up pretty soon because the boys will be coming and God knows what they'll do behind me or shout towards me. <laughs> OK, well, we won't keep you there too long. Uh, tell us about the, the run you've had at home recently with Brighton. Yeah, it's been been good. Obviously, um, we passed our first big test, which was Tottenham down here. Uh, that was a big, emphatic win for us. And um, and we feel as though this afternoon's the next big, real test here today. Yeah, talk to us about Leicester, because we, we've spoken to Ralph Arsenal on the programme today. They saw Leicester at their peak with those nine goals this season. I mean, they are a formidable outfit. The word that we've all been talking about this season is that they're ruthless, aren't they, Glenn? Yeah, they are ruthless and, and they remind me uh, of the team that, the, that won the Premier League back back in, uh, what was it, three or four years ago now. And, uh, and it's the same guy at the, at the cutting edge of the field, Jamie Vardy, that's, uh, that's leading the way for them. Um, they've obviously invested in a lot of good uh, English talent, which is nice to see and nice to see sort of lads coming through their system like Harvey Barnes and, and Chilwell. So listen, we know we're up against, uh, we're up for a tough test this afternoon and, uh, and like I say, we've been working on it all week and we'll be doing our best to keep them at bay and, and try and hurt them as much as possible. Glenn, I know um, Dion mentioned that you're 36 years old, but you, what time do you finish? You... I retired at 39. And Tim? 39. You see, Glenn, you've got plenty more years <laughs> left. You've got, yeah, you can there's, keep there's going forever. <laughs> Plenty of years left yet. <laughs> <laughs> great to talk to you, and uh, well done for avoiding any embarrassment with your teammates as well. Glenn Murray, great to have you on the programme today. Cheers, Thank Glenn. You. Thank, Thank you, you very everybody. much, fellas. Cheers, Glenn.